north of Pages Plains. This is uh, one of the PCH realignment sites, Caltrans realignment sites. So I'm walking right now on the former uh, roadbed of uh, Pacific Coast Highway. See if you look over to where our vehicles are parked. That's where um, the road has been moved. So it's been moved to deal with all of uh, the issues of sea level rise, coastal erosion, etc. This area is a wetland. So this is a lowland. So this is a wetland leading into coastal prairie grassland. And so we can see over here. Uh, this is a bit of an impressional wetland. So at uh, good rains, this will be where I'm walking. It'll be about two feet. flags here delineating a, um, the, the distribution of a endangered wetland plant. Um, this is a wetland. This is a wetland according as we've always defined it. This is a wetland that has paper soils, has um, obligate wetland plants, um, etc. Hydrology, soils, and plants. Um, but uh, in this particular definition, this is a wetland. In the context of a federal definition, this probably would no longer be considered a wetland because it's not connected to navigable waters as per the, um, as per the Supreme Court decision in 2023. And so, um, so if this were to not be in California, this might not be protected. Since we're in California and the project's already started, this is being protected and is, in be is being restored as part of this um, Caltrans realignment project. Um, and it's great. So this is a great example of uh, uh, trying to take care and restore the ecosystems that we've impacted through our construction and development. In this case here in coastal San